वेलकम टू इट्स रफिक प्रीवियस वीडियो आई हैव ऑलरेडी डिस्कस्ड क्वेश्चन वन एंड टू ऑफ द प्रैक्टिकल क्वेश्चन पेपर नाउ वी विल डू क्वेश्चन नंबर थ्री एंड फोर इन क्वेश्चन थ्री राइट ए सी प्रोग्राम टू स्टोर योर मदर नेम एंड योर योर नेम एंड योर मदर नेम इन टू डिफरेंट स्ट्रिंग्स एंड डिस्प्ले वन आफ्टर एन अदर टू यूज दिस प्रोग्राम टू राइट दिस प्रोग्राम फर्स्ट विल ओपन द editor that is code blocks you may use dev c then uh, turbo c or maybe vs code also so whatever you are using open that one code blocks this one our code blocks and the first one it takes time depending on your computer processing speed now open a new file for that you press control shift and n key so it's opened now save the file control and s now give the name is as question number 3 first you write your class like class 10 roll number give whatever your and question 3 at first header file so include std io dot h then one more header file include string i think this is not required because we are not uh, counting the land so now int main we'll have two arrays that also character so we'll write character name and size we are giving as 20 and one more mother name m name and size same 20 now we will take the input so first we'll give a message to the user that enter your name enter your name after that we'll have to accept the input now while we take the input of character array we can use for loop or we can directly use a put statement or oh, sorry get statement so we'll write gets here s stands for string means get the string so we'll write gets then the name of the array name we don't have to write indexed here then again we'll copy this to line so for copying control and c now we'll go to the next line and paste it for pasting control and v here we'll write enter your mother name and the variable will be m Slash name. Now we have to display the output for that printf statement. Print f. We will write your name is then we will write puts p u t s means instead of printf we use puts to display our string. name then semicolon and same as before we will copy this to line and paste it now here you will write here your mother name is here we will write m name and here we can add a slash n now my program finish so it's return zero now let's build the program go to build menu and build and run so asking me to write my name and mother name xyz 
so it's coming like that your name is this one and your mother name is this one so this way we can write the question uh, program of question number three now let's move to the or part write a c program to find the summation of even numbers inside an array now we'll first create a new file for that the same shortcut key control shift and and we'll save it control s we'll give the name is even sum now first the header file include stdio.h then main function now we'll have to declare the variables so we are declaring the variable as int a r r, -R and the size we are giving before declaring the array we'll take the size int size and we'll accept it from the user so we'll write printf statement printf enter the land of the array and we will store it inside size variable so scan it percent d because we are accepting integer that's why percent d and percent then the name of the variable where we are going to save it that is size after that we will take the other variables int arr and in square bracket its size means whatever size the user will write it will be size of that array and one more variable index that is i one more variable to store the sum that will be sum and will initialize the sum as zero now we have to take input for that we'll write 4 i equal 0 because they array start from 0 i less than size i plus plus and here print it enter percentage d element and plus n and here we'll give the percentage this location is i plus 1 means at first i will be 0 so 0 plus 1 1 it will be 1 and we have to read it scan it as we are accepting this uh, integer so percent d and storing here and person the name of the array and within square bracket it is i means at first it will be arr0 then arr1 and so on so by this code we wrote the we take the input to the array now we have to find out the summation of even numbers we can do the summation in same for loop only or we can make a new for loop also let's do in same for loop where we are accepting the input here we can write sum equal sum sorry we need a if statement because the program is this one write a c program to find the summation of even numbers inside an array so we'll write if a r r i modulus 2 equal 0 means we are dividing the value of the arr whatever user entered and checking whether the remainder is 0 or not if it is then we will write sum equal sum plus arr i so addition summation will be stored in some variable now we have to just display so will come out from the for loop here we are going to write up printf statement and we'll write here the summation of the even numbers
is person D and it is stored in some variable and semicolon and last line return 0 so it's done now let's go to build menu and build and run hope there is no mistake or oh, no mistake enter the number of elements five elements first elements two second elements six third element three fourth element one then fifth element two the summation is ten now let's find out two plus six it is eight eight plus two ten so my answer is correct that means the program is correct so you can see the code of this program from here the question is write a c program to find out the summation of the even numbers of an array now if the question asks for odd numbers then what you will do just in place of equal sign you give it not equal now let's run the program and see what will be the output length of the array 4 first element 3 second element 4 third element 8 fourth element 5 now my inputs are 3 4 8 and 5 I have two odd numbers 3 and 5 so the answer should be 8 so the summation of the even number is 8 it's done now what if they ask that uh, write a C program to find the summation of even elements even index elements not now even number even index elements then what you will do then just we will not write uh, we can do this one i modulus then it will be done let's see build and run size 5 and we are writing 1 2 3 4 5 the summation is 6 how it is at first it will add 1 because it is index is 0 so 1 plus 3 it is 4 now let's move to the question number 4 write a C program to find a factorial of a number using a function first we'll make a new file control shift n and uh, we'll save the file we'll give the file name as fact header file include stdio.h now as we have to find out the factorial so we'll have to return a number also we'll keep it return type of the function is int name is find fact and bracket on and inside here we'll pass one element it's int n now as we are not writing definition here so semicolon now we'll write the main function int main here we will take a variable int n or we can write anything x also can write uh, after declaring a variable we have to need one more variable to store the result so the result will keep as r now we will take the input of x so printf enter a number now scan it here we'll write percent d and we'll store it in variable n variable x so m person x now we'll call the function so we'll write r equal find fact and pass variable x to it now we'll display the output printf the factorial of percent d is percent d 
now we have two percent so the first percent will be x and the second percent will be r at last return zero now we have to write the de definition of the function so we'll write here int find fact and here we'll pass variable int n and in definition what we have to do we have to multiply all the numbers multiply all the numbers that uh, from 1 to get the number so one more variable we need int this as result or we can keep it as f we'll write for loop int i equal 1 then i less than equal to n and i plus plus and inside the for loop we'll write f equal f we also have to initialize value as f1 otherwise it will not able to do any operation here now remember when we are doing addition we always initialize value as 0 and when we are doing multiply we initialize the value as 1 because if we keep it as 0 the answer will directly come as 0 so it is 1 f into i so done now we'll have to return the result so we'll write return f now let's see whether it's work or not we'll go to build menu build and run enter number 5 so the factorial of 5 is 120 how it is 120 1 into 2 it's 2 2 into 3 it's 6 6 into 4 24 24 into 5 it is 120 so my program is correct at first this is the declaration of a function and I am calling the function here and at last I wrote the definition of the function here so this is the program to find factorial of a number if the same program give for that uh, write a C program to find the summation of a number by using function then the same this program only you can do just one changes is required that uh, changes is here you will write here int whatever variable suppose the variable is result result equal 0 and here instead of multiply sign you will give plus sign so only this much changes you have to do now let's move to the or part write a c program to define a function square that accept a number as parameter and return the square of that number like if we write uh, 3 then it should display the output as 9 first we'll create a new file control shift and now we'll save the file we'll give the file name as sqr now the header file include stdio.h now the declaration of the function so we'll write we'll return the integer value so int so find sqr and the variable one parameter int s now the main function int main inside the main function we'll have two variable int n and result so first we will write a statement that enter a number that common statement enter a number slash n now scan it we'll read percent d and store it in variable n now we'll call the function so we'll write r equal find sqr this is the function name And we'll pass variable and throw it. Now we'll display the 
result printed the square of percent d is percent d and the location of this percent d r and and r at last line return 0 now we'll write the declaration of the function so we'll write here first int because it's returning integer value then the name of the function that is find as qr and one parameter that is int s and within the break brackets we'll write return s into s as it is square so we have to multiply the same number two time that's why s into s now let's see whether it's work or not so build build and run I have forgot to give semicolon again build build and run one more mistake here find spelling is wrong so you have to be careful with the spellings when your spelling is wrong so it will not work perfectly find my 5 my output should be 25 so the square of 5 is 25 and if you want to make your program a bit long then you can do this also we will have one more variable int result and we will write result equal s into s and we will return the s Re return the result return result so how you want to do it's your choice now again build build and run we'll get the same output 6 it is 36 so these are few programs that might come in your hopefully practical examination i didn't give any guarantee that only these programs will come in examination so the format might be like this one here i have given you to find a square maybe they'll give area or perimeter and instead of factorial they might ask you some fibonacci series or prime numbers so it depends and practical paper generally comes from the center and uh, there will be viva questions also and if you require the viva questions also from the chapters you can write in comment sections definitely i will try to give it thank you for watching see you in a new video till then take care and bye.